Hello and welcome to the Boring Projects. In this video, we are going to talk about one problem statement that is called PharmaSift. We'll talk what problem we are trying to solve in this project. Okay, this project is for beginners who have done HTML and CSS. Let's talk about what we are going to solve into this. With PharmaSift, what right now is happening is we want to build an app that allows people to compare medicine that private companies are offering and the you know the government is offering. It's like a platform where these two companies, for example, there is one company that is your uh, private company okay private pharmaceutical company and there is government owned companies okay both of them offer say for example say medicine that is called x then this x cost somewhat y same thing if you if you get it from government owned medical stores then you will get it somewhat z so how we are planning to build this website is because we know that z is always going to be less than y okay because uh, government offers at cheaper price than private companies now one more thing to note here is government is also making sure that you buy the medicine at cheaper price without any subsidy which means there is a flaw that we are trying to understand in this private ecosystem that is happening right so let's talk about that so what is a flaw so now i will tell you how pharmaceutical companies actually work okay so there is a pharmaceutical company that has say product these are three products it is building one is x one is y and one is z okay so how do they reach you how do they reach you for example there is a medicine called paracetamol okay so if that company is building it so how it is building is there is something called formula of it so every medicine it build with some formula right and for example for x they, we are using formula that is called p and for y we are using some formula called q and there is r where we are using this formula for z correct now these three medicines are getting manufactured in this pharmaceutical company and it has its prices like a b and c okay now they want to distribute this medicine to its lowest level that is the consumer okay so how do they do that they start with state level state level means they will go to state province whatever you call it they go to state level they set up a distribution network so there your distribution network starts somewhere here okay then it, it goes to district level and then it reaches you like this that is a normal flow now the problem with this approach is there is a cut that is being fixed at this particular level there is a cut that is being fixed at this particular level there is a cut that is being fixed at this particular level if this medicine if you bought it directly from company right then it would have cost you a rupees but now what it will cost you a plus say commission we are charging is d1 percent okay then at district level when it reaches it has d percent plus there is one more commission that it is added with d2 percent and the moment it reaches you it has a commission as d3 percent it would have costed you a rupees but now it is costing you a plus d1 plus d2 plus d3 and that is a problem right that is a problem we can solve so this is where d2c model comes into picture what we could do is can we directly sell this product to you so we can reduce this these two steps right here right that same job government is doing that same thing is government doing right how government works is it has its product that is you know x product okay and y product and z product correct this product that we are trying to sell is all about selling it at a, a rupees okay and b rupees and c rupees correct so this is what we are planning to do into this generally like a comparison website that we are building okay it is nothing but a comparison website where the product is a medicine now you understand the problem statement okay let's go and deep dive into what are the features we are going to build how are we planning to build it all of these things we'll discuss in next video thank you